All right, so you've got a locked Toyota Prius hatch and you can't get in, your battery's dead. How do you open it? Um, I'm gonna cover that as well as how to jump off your battery if you have a dead battery like I do. First thing you're gonna do is on your key fob here, um, there's a little button on the side. If you push that and then pull out the little top with a key ring, that's actually a key. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, that's a little key, old fashioned key that you can pull out and then unlock your driver's door. Uh, start there, unlock your doors. Uh, excuse the mess here, I've got a lot of tools uh, in the back at the moment, but I cleared some out of the way to where I could get and lift up the carpet in the back as well as this flap and then I'm gonna flip the camera around here all right and now this bin here is in the back and you can see a little plastic piece covering up a hole in the back I'll show you this of course is the tray that sits in the back under the flap so I just showed you all you gotta do is pop this out and then in there there's a little silver lever you just want to lift up now be sure to lift open the hatch the, the hatch back on the car while you do that because if you just flick it you'll feel it pop but you go around it'll still be locked so you have to it's kind of heavy while you're in there lift up and then push open the latch um i'll try to show you here just so you can see or overlay a, an image yeah here's the little silver uh latch there so lift that up open the latch and that's how you're in the back there's one more piece here that sits in and covers your battery uh so you move that there's no screws or anything like that. Everything just kind of sits in place. You see the slots, they're slotted in there. So just lift everything out, it's real simple. Remove this plastic cover, and then you see, if you never jumped off a battery, red to red, black to black on both terminals. Um, be sure not to touch the jumper cables together, uh, especially if you've got them hooked up to the live battery. Uh, with the dead battery, it doesn't matter as much, but when you, um, when you've got the live battery, be sure not to touch those uh, to create a spark or, or electricity jumping through to shock you. Uh, and then I'm just gonna let it wait an extra 10, 15 minutes to make sure the battery's getting charged. You see, uh, I've actually cranked my car uh, after about 10 minutes of waiting, um, but I'm letting it uh, continue to run and, and charge the battery. I'll go for a drive here in a little bit. Uh, but if it's not jumping right away, just be patient. Uh, you could give it a little gas in the car Make sure you've got a good connection, either a spark when you hook up the terminals or uh, some of the lights come on, even if they're dim, uh, that means you've got a good connection. And uh, yeah, good luck jumping it off. I really hope this helped you and that um, you're now able to take care of your dead battery. And uh, if it has helped, please do me a favor, and like and subscribe. I'm going to come out with a lot more helpful videos as I come across uh, areas uh, of things that I work on where I can't find as good information or videos as quickly. So I want to try to save you time, get straight to the point, um, and uh, share uh, helpful tips as I can. One other final tip here before you go, actually. Um, uh, the, the car didn't seem to have a charge after a few minutes, so what I've done is I turned on the heat in the Prius on the high to full blast. Uh, that way it needs the engine to run to use that heat for the heater. Um, that way you will kick on your engine and uh, the engine will run more to help the car charge its battery faster. So hopefully that tip also helps. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, again, please like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video.